guys. I hope you noticed the hashtag happy pouring on the thumbnail of my YouTube videos. I would love to interact with you guys in different places on social media and in different ways. Um, so if you post pictures or videos of your paintings and what you're doing um, and you use the hashtag happy pouring, I will be looking for you guys on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'll be keeping an eye out on that hashtag, so I'd love to see what you guys are up to. If you post it anywhere other than those sites, um, give me a heads up in um, a comment on one of my YouTube videos so I can look for you other places as well. Happy pouring, guys! Hi, guys. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a side-by-side test of um, Oxgall versus uh, Blaster Silicone Spray. Um, Oxgall is a watercolor medium. This is Windsor & Newton. It is used as a um, wetting agent and it reduces surface tension. It also says it can be used as a flow aid for watercolors. Um, I've seen some people hesitant to use silicone for a number of reasons. Um, and I've used Oxgall a couple of times um, and had good results, but I've never done a side-by-side -side test. So we're going to see if it really makes a difference, how it stands up against the silicone, um, and what we get. I'm going to do two swipes. And I have my colors mixed. I, have, I mixed everything in one batch and then I separated the colors into two cups so that um, everything would be exactly the same other than the Oxgall and the silicone. So I have some metallic silver, shiver, shimmering silver mixed with some Anita's metallic white. I have a Master's Touch light magenta. Academy Acrylic Lamp Black and Apple Barrel White. Um, so we're just going to get on with it. I have not put in the silicone or the Oxgall. So on this side with this paper I'm going to do just a quick spritz of the silicone. Just uh, I don't want to get it on the paper but just a quick spritz in every cup. Give it a quick stir and I'll have a stick in this one. Everything's just mixed with water. Uh, I didn't mix anything else in it. It's just paint and water. And then this side is going to have the silicone. And the other side is going to have... I don't have much white in that one at all, but that's okay. So the silicone ratio to paint is going to be a little higher than what I normally do, but um, that's okay. And we'll do in this side... One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just put a good squirt. Since we have a lot of silicone, we'll use a lot of oxal. I usually use just a couple drops, but let's see. Whoops. Stuck my finger right in the silver paint. At least it's a pretty color. Give it a quick stir. And then I'll do a swipe. I'm going to swipe everything with black. All right. I think we'll do silver first. Whoops. Silver, silver, silver. I'm just going to do it similar everything on both sides. I'm going to do the pink. pink. Oops. Well, that's not good for testing, but one little drop's not going to do anything. Okay. 
think I put as much white in this cup. Okay, and black. Make sure you guys can see everything. I'll move this over just a little bit. I really need to get something to put my camera up above everything so you can get like a more of a bird's eye view that is on my wish list things to get. Okay. Here we go. Now, make sure we use the... Oh, I don't want to stick. Okay. Can you guys see if I put that right in your way? Let's see what we get on this side. This is the ox gall side. Kind of a pretty mix of colors there. And this is the silicone side. sit for just a minute and then I'll torch. I want to make sure all the paper is covered before I torch. We don't, whoops, can't use the same stick. I have to switch sticks. It's over here. Ruin our whole experiment. Okay. Getting cells on both sides. So, um, not seeing a big difference really in the amount of cells. Let's torch it real quick. to this. Okay, well when we torched the silicone really did um, a bit more than the ox gall, but um, it did do quite a bit, not as much. Um, I think I might have had a little bit more paint on there. I might have to try this again. I'll try it. I want to try it with like a dirty pour. Um, maybe there's the ox gall. But it still has some nice cells. It certainly. did its own thing. Close up here. Pretty cool. And then this was the silicone side. So I will definitely say that the, the silicone does more did more than the ox gall, but the ox gall did do some. It wasn't completely um, ineffective.
So, let me know guys, this was a quick one. Let me know guys if you want me to do um, another test with maybe a dirty pour or a flip cup or um, something else. If you want to see another comparison, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know if you have any questions guys. As always, happy pouring. Okay guys, I'm back. And I know, so soon. I didn't even give you guys time to miss me. Um, I'm going to do the ox skull one again real quick because I'm just curious if I had more paint on the um, silicone one. And to give it a fair test, I want to do the ox skull one more time. And the only reason I'm thinking that is because of how the colors looked when I swiped. I and I just want to make sure I'm giving everything a fair shot. So let's do this. Um, just the ox skull one more time. I've got my handy dandy drying mat here mostly because I'm off my... Um, I do a smaller area. Swipe. Um, I'm off my little mat or my um, place. Uh, hello, my um, shower curtain. Goodness, and I want to make sure I don't get anything on the floor. That would be bad. Get much of this silver I can get out. And I probably won't swipe all the way down because I'm not going to have enough paint to do that. But let's see if I can get at least a good row of each color. Okay, I think it'll be enough to be able to tell if it was the swipe or if it was just that the ox call doesn't do as much. And that is very possible. I just feel like I want to give it a fair shot. I didn't feel like that was a fair shot. So, here we go. Fresh popsicle stick. have a good layer of paint there. Just give it a minute and then I'll hit it real fast with the torch. Do 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 do. You won't have a little bit of patience with swipes before you torch. So there's, ah, I put my stick right in my other pour. Um, you will get some cells before you torch. Okay. There they go. They're popping up. Okay, that one actually looks a little bit better. I would say maybe still not quite as crazy as the um, silicone. I don't know, I see them still moving. But, okay, let's give you guys a close up of this one real quick and then you guys can judge for yourself. I actually like the cells in this one, so. I would say it's definitely for somebody who does not want to use silicone, um, even this one, 
up here. It's definitely a good alternative. That one went crazy with the cells, so um, maybe not quite as much depending on your method. Um, of course, I don't have any Floetrol or anything in here, so there you go. Let me know what you guys think, and if you want me to do this test with another um, type of method, like a, a Dirty Pour or a Flip Cup. And we will see you next time, guys. Bye. Happy pouring.